say that it feels right What's up guys, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Evil Jinx 2. Uh, this is a large man in the middle attack framework used for fishing login credentials and along with session cookies, which can bypass two-factor authentication protection. So basically in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a professional method of fishing uh, but this video is for educational purposes only I'm not responsible for any legal purposes and the purpose of this video is you know teaching you know uh, let everybody know how professional attack attacks get done like uh, evil jinx is actually is used for professional attacks professional pen testing like in, in not all the cases but like it's used professionally all right so before we start oh all right before we start make sure to follow me on twitter you know it'll help out and make sure to check out my articles on z security and yeah let's get right into it so uh, in this video i actually invested uh, some of my pocket money just for the sake of the vi uh, this video, I want to provide some content for you guys. Alright, so you, uh, what you need is a domain name and a VPS server. I'm not gonna show like I'm not gonna showcase how you can set them up, but like you can get a don uh, domain name from name. Oh, uh, name uh, name uh, cheap namecheap.com. You can get a domain from here. Register a domain, and you can get. Uh, you can get a VPS server from uh, DigitalOcean. I'm actually gonna provide you a link which you, you can get a hundred dollar in credit. And so I'm not gonna show the IP, of course, and everything. So once you get a VPS from DigitalOcean, uh, you go to Droplets and you buy a droplet. So a droplet is basically the VPS. So once you buy this droplet, just configure it. Uh, with your domain, so for uh, uh, with your domain domain system name, DNS, and uh, like like uh, make sure to configure it with the same custom DNS that's used with the provider that provided you the VPS server or the dedicated server. So you you need to set them these up, and you need to set the A records. Oh, uh, sorry guys. So when you when, uh, so this is the droplet. I already bought it and everything. Uh, you go to create and go to domains DNS. All right, let me just go. I didn't test it out. I didn't I mean didn't test pressing on it. All right, so uh, as you can see, I already have a domain. So I added it. So you actually enter the domain in here, the the one that you registered. Um. Wait, let me try and manage domain so I can show you guys. All right, so what you need to do is write a host name. Just write, uh, just uh, I mean the DNS records. Just edit the A record and add the www dot your domain dot com and add the value as your host. And edit uh, edit the another A record and add your domain name without the www dot. And you're set to go. And if you're facing any single problem setting up your droplet or anything, just make sure to comment down below and I'll help you out. No worries. Like, just tell me and I'll help you out. So now let's get to the nasty stuff. All right. So at first, we need to SSH into our server. You can, you can SSH into a Cal a, using a Linux distribution, using Windows, anything. So I'm going to be using Windows for the sake of simplicity for the video. All right, so I'm going to SSH. So make sure you log in as root. And let me type in the password. All 
all right as you can see guys we're into the server so so now we need to set up evil jinx framework so at first i actually uh, have some prerequisites set up for you guys so at first just run this command so you can make sure everything is is running uh, perfectly on your machine it'll update and it'll upgrade everything needed oh by the way uh, for the sake of the droplet make sure to buy a debian based droplet i mean it's simple you can use it in the droplet you want i'm just uh, i just bought it you know all right so all right oh sorry all right so here now we're gonna download go because actually evil jinx is based on go so we need to set up go all right this command will download it for you guys easy i actually downloaded it for the video uh then i deleted it all right so now we're gonna extract it i'll make sure to link you all these commands down below all right now we're actually extracting it and uh, now we need to set up the go path so we can easily use the tool all right nah all right all right if you want to learn about like these commands these paths you can google it it's pretty simple all right now we're setting up all right now everything is clear now let's get into the nasty stuff now we're gonna set up evil jinx as you can see here it's like it's asking you for go and everything we already did that now we're gonna install it so at first you need to install git make all right and now you need to download evil jinx all right i'm gonna all right we're get, we're downloading it easy and we're gonna cd into it once it's downloaded all right now we actually cd into it all right now we make all right so now we're gonna run it now we gonna run it as you can see guys the framework is loading so oh my god it has some active ones i'm not gonna show because i tested it I mean, if it shows, uh, no problem. All right. Uh, so now, let me. All right. As you can see, guys, here here is everything you need to know, like the droplets and everything. All right. Now, we're gonna config our domain. So, in order to for Evil Jinx to use a domain name, uh, you have to auto uh, like you have to configure your domain name so as you can see guys i configured it like uh, while i was testing it all right hacking at its finest dot com all right that's a domain uh, all right now it's no so you're gonna be asking yourself what is a fishlet so basically the fishlet it has some pre-installed fishlets that's all you honestly need um uh, like the fishlets are uh, basically the fishing pages uh, all right uh, config IP now we're gonna configure our IP the IP that you're gonna use is the IP of your droplet all right configure the IP all right we're set to go and now we're gonna uh, choose our fishlet I actually kept on testing on LinkedIn I never tested on any but let's do it together let me test on Instagram fishlet all right uh, host name is gonna be the name of your fishlet uh, the fishlet is in Instagram and you're gonna provide your domain name so here hacking uh, at its finest I mean the uh, the domain name is actually great in my opinion like I'm a, I'll make it like in the future I'll use it for different cases in the future All right All right now we are gonna enable the fishlet so we can uh, run it Oh sorry Oh my god it's lagging for some reason enable Oh yeah cuz uh, it's running on one ram but it doesn't matter uh, by the way, it don't it's just buy the five dollar uh, droplet. Like you, you don't need more than one RAM. So yeah. Oh, fishlet enable Instagram. Oh, I uh, actually misspelled fishlet. Sorry. Fishlet. 
fishlets enable all right now it's actually making an ssl certificate it's making everything for us so now we enabled it so now our fishing site is live so now we need to set up our uh a redirection link that you want your target to go to after they enter their credentials uh, so now uh, use that lures command lures create and in here you can uh, you'll create um, the command f uh, so it can redirect uh, the victims to the website so lures create and enter the fishlet name all right the id is two yeah no worries and uh, now we're gonna uh, lures edit reader redirect under url two uh, for you guys it's gonna be zero so no worries because i tested it before and it has different ids uh, all right now lures get slash url two and all right, guys, I finally solved uh, the problem. Uh, by the way, I just want to notice that each droplet is responsible for a different fishlet. So you can't you can't be using uh, like two fishlets on the same domain name. So as you can see, it made this IP, uh, this link for us. And I mean, once we, all right. So once we go to this link, it's going to redirect us to this home page. So if the target enters, for example, his real things. So test uh, like and and subscribe at gmail.com. I uh, misspelled in here. And the password. And let's say after he signs in, it asks for a two-factor authentication. Uh, Evil Jinx will be able to pull the cookies and save them in a file. So the target signed in. All right, unexpected error. We go in here. As you can see, guys, we get the username and password. So to get more detailed information, uh, we go to sessions. As you can see, that's our session. Sessions one. All right, if you type sessions and the ID of your session, you'll get everything. If the target has a two-factor authentication, it will ask for it and the cookie will appear in here you can copy the cookie and download a cookie editor and import the cookie let's say in here and save it so and you can actually go to linkedin.com and sign with the user id even if he has two-factor authentication on and yeah that was all about it so make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and by the way this link can be accessed from everywhere anywhere in the world and yeah you can actually uh, sleep and you can keep this on evil jinx on i'll leave everything you need to know down in the description and you can read more about it it's a huge huge professional framework and yeah i'm out guys peace